Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sara Bulfat. The Shura Council held its weekly meeting presided over by its chairman Ali bin Saleh al Saleh. The council referred a draft law to the Public Facilities and Environment Committee on adding a new article to decree by law number no. 3 of 2002 regarding municipal members' election system. The council approved the referral of a draft law ratifying the main system of the Labour Centre of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation to the Council of Representatives in preparation for its approval by His Majesty the King. The council also approved the report of the Public Facilities and Environment Committee on a draft law issuing the Maritime Law. The Minister of Health, Faiqa bin Saeed al Saleh, called for a greater adherence to precautionary measures from all citizens and residents in order to limit the spread of the coronavirus. The minister indicated the government's continuous efforts to address the pandemic, reduce the virus cases, and manage their recovery in implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and the follow up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al Khalifa. Al Saleh stressed that the cooperation of citizens and residents will be a key element in achieving the desired goal by adhering to precautionary measures that includes staying away from gatherings, wearing masks, maintaining social distancing and adhere to the safety measures recommended by the national medical team to combat the virus. Electricity and Water Affairs Minister Wael bin Nasser al Mubarak and the Electricity and Water Authority EWA CEO Sheikh Nawaf bin Ibrahim al Khalifa held a virtual meeting with International Monetary Fund, the IMF members, headed by Deputy Head of the Regional Studies Department in the Administration of the Middle East and Central Asia, Ali al Eid. The minister said that the kingdom is proceeding steadily with the implementation of infrastructure projects that form the basis for supporting economic and urban development under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the governments headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The meeting reviewed Bahrain's efforts represented by EWA in developing the efficiency of the electricity and water sector, the sustainable development of procedures and the use of modern technology with the best international practices to achieve the desired development goals. They also reviewed the initiatives taken by EWA in the field of enhancing the electricity and water services provided to various segments of society and enhancing the kingdom's competitiveness in the field of facilitating procedures for access to these services. IMF representatives expressed thanks and appreciation to the minister and the CEO for outlining the steps taken in the authorities' projects and future plans for them. The United Arab Emirates and the Sheikh Ibrahim bin Mohammed Al Khalifa Center for Culture and Research opened a green corner as part of a joint cultural project within the framework of the agreement signed to strengthen cultural cooperation between the UAE and Bahrain to preserve common historical legacy. On this occasion, the center's chair of the Board of Trustees, Sheikh Hamay bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, said that the green corner will constitute a qualitative addition to the cultural infrastructure in Muharraq, expressing thanks to the UAE for supporting the project within the year of commemorating the late Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan. For her part, the UAE Minister of Culture and Youth, Noura bin Mohammed Al Kabi, noted that this project highlights the historical fraternal relations between the UAE and Bahrain. UAE's ambassador to Bahrain, Sheikh Sultan bin Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, expressed pleasure with the opening of the Green Corner after it was restored within the framework of the agreement signed to strengthen relations relations between the two countries. Public Prosecutor Nawaf Al Awadi said the Ministry of Interior Coast Guard has received a request for justice from the heirs of a captain who was killed in an assault on his boat by Qatari Coast Guard that also led to the injury of fishermen on board. The heirs included in their request a final ruling issued by the competent civil court in Qatar requiring the Qatari authorities to compensate them for the role of those responsible for the death and injuries. The heirs have called for the criminal prosecution of the officials in Qatar 
Ishtar who caused the killing. According to the case documents, the public prosecution had received a notification from the Bahraini Coast Guard in which the Qatari authorities informed them about intercepting the victim's boat and colliding with it, which caused it to capsize. At that time, the public prosecution launched a probe and issued decisions to investigate the incident and its circumstances to determine its territorial scope and to address the Qatari security authorities to obtain the records of the incident, its circumstances and the measures taken. al awadi said that the public prosecution heard the hairs as well as the injured victims who confirmed that the collision by the Qatari boat was deliberate and in a manner that inevitably led to death. Their action actually caused the boat to capsize, the men to fall overboard and the captain to drown. The victims added that the Qatari security men refused to rescue the captain despite their pleas to assist him. The fishermen were subsequently held and were ill-treated by the Qatari authorities and denied the medical reports that confirmed their injuries. al awadi said that the public prosecution had taken measures to address the competent authorities in Qatar to obtain an official copy of the verdict issued in their civil case and to learn about the criminal procedures taken against those responsible for the incident. A number of Bahraini religious scholars affirm the right of Bahraini fishermen to seek their livelihood by sailing their boats. In a statement, they stress the importance of restoring the usual conditions for successive generations in terms of fishing in the Arabian Gulf waters in a way that makes seeking livelihood a right for all. They added that the sea was and remains one of the most important sources of livelihood for the people of Bahrain and that fishing is considered an authentic Bahraini profession that has been passed down through generations. They hailed the Bahraini government's call for this matter to be negotiated, noting that Bahrain was generous in dealing with its sailors who suffered damage and losses as a result of Qatar's arrest, trial and seizing their boats for long periods. They also expressed their aspiration for a Ula summit to be the basis for facilitating people's affairs. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 4,091 with 212 recoveries, 655 registered new cases and three deaths. 237 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 411 are contacts of active cases and seven are travel related. The deceased were 54 and 63-year-old male citizens and an 83-year-old female citizen. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.